Al-Wahid, Al-Ahad, the one. He is the one who is singled out in all aspects of perfection such that nothing else shares with him in these. It is obligatory upon the servant to single him out alone in belief, seeing the action by acknowledging his unrestricted perfection, his uniqueness and singling, singling him out alone for all types of worship. يا صاحبي السجن أأرباب متفرقون خير أم الله الواحد القهار O two companions of the prison are many different lords better or Allah الواحد the irresistible قل هو الله أحد say he is Allah الأحد So now we have the name الأحد and الواحد We have الأحد in one place we have the word al-wahid. Some scholars have said the difference between the two, wa ilahukum ilahum wahid. Also, lillahi al-wahid al-qahar, that he is one. It is reference to al-that. In his essence, he is one in his essence. He is one in himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la sharika la wahdahu la sharika la for that reason we say him alone with no partner so it's explained there and some have said al-ahad it is referring to the uniqueness of his qualities and attributes qul huwa Allahu ahad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like anyone else he doesn't beget nor is he begotten lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad and the ayah at the end of it explains, there's no match to him, there's no one comparable to him. This makes him unique. He is al-ahad with alif and lam, so there's no one like him. And some have said al-ahad is explained with the name after it, as-samad. But we'll explain that inshallah as it comes 